Okay, insert, delete, get, random. We go one. Okay, let's get started. Design a data structure that supports all following operations in average big of one time, constant time. Insert this, insert an item value to the set if not already present. Remove, remove value, removes an item value from the set if present. Okay. Get random, returns Excuse me, a random element from the current set of elements. Each element must have the same probability of being returned. <laughs> Excuse me. Ah! So let's, let's look at the example. Initialize a empty set. Insert one. Return true as one was inserted necessary, successful, necessary, successfully. Sorry, if the, uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm still having a cold, so my brain is not functioning well properly. Return false as two does not exist in the set. So looks at insert and remove are type ball, um, are type boolean. So insert two to the set returns true. So set now now contains one two. And yet random should return either one or two randomly. Remove one from the set returns true. So and set now contains two. And two was already in the set, so return false. Since and get random. Since two is the only number in the set. Get random always return two. So it looks like uh, implementation for hash set, right? So of course we're gonna use hash set now. Okay. Now what I'm thinking is we can use a hash set for insert, right? No. So now for insert, we want it to be constant time. So the first intuition would be a hash set, right? So we want to check if the element we're inserting is already contained in the set or not. So we use hash set. And with the same hash set, we can, before we remove a, uh, a value, we can determine if the to be removed value is existing in the set. Now, I think the problem is get random. Now, how do we make sure that every element, every existing element in the set has a fair chance of getting selected? Now, I think if we use get random, first of all, let's see if has set has a API called get random. But I don't think this is what we should do because if we do that in an interview, the interviewer would definitely ask us to implement this API. So, okay. So each element must have the same probability of being returned. So what I'm thinking right now is, so how do we make sure that every element has the same probability? So first up, if we were to do this in the most primitive way, we would put all these elements into an array and then use a random, so put in an array. For example, we have five elements, right? We're going to put, in, put them into an array of five, right? Array of size five. And then we're going to select the element randomly we're gonna select the random uh, we're gonna select one of the elements one of the elements at a random position and that's how we will randomize now every time now the problem is now the problem is 
every time we remove a valuable, not a valuable, what the fuck is a valuable? Every time we remove a value, it's like taking something out of the array. So if we remove something and then we get random, we will have to or reorganize the array again. So can we can we implement a way which we don't have to reorganize the array every time we call random after a remove or insertion? I think yes. So we can do, let's say, a deck. Okay, so we need dynamic array, right? So I think array list is a good, uh, it's a good candidate, array list. And um, I think array list is a good candidate and um, uh, deck is a good ten candidate too. DAC is a good candidate too. So, but um, the problem is every time we remove a value, every time we remove a value, we have to make sure the corresponding position of that value in the, uh, in the list. Right, you know what I'm saying. So, now, first half set is correct. But I think we need another, we need another information is the corresponding, the corresponding position, the corresponding position of that element in the list. So that's the two informations, two information that we need, all right? Two pieces of information that we need, okay? So first of all, so when we insert a, what I'm thinking right now is can, we can, we can, we can make a class called node, all right? And, uh, So whenever we insert a value, whenever we insert a value, so whenever we insert a value, we were going to wrap it with, okay, so whenever we insert a value, a new value, right? First, we're gonna check if it's contained in a hash set. If it's not, we're gonna wrap it inside of a class called node, right? With this class, we also have another information, is a, the position that we are going to add it to the list, right? So in this case, in insert, when we insert one, when we insert one, in this case, when we insert one, well, there's no one in hash set. So, and the corresponding position of the new, new node is zero. Okay, so we're gonna put one and zero as a new node to a list, right? To a list. Or to a hash set to a hash set. I feel like it's a hash map. So yeah, so I think it should be a hash map. So it's, I'm sorry, my mind is totally fucked. I feel like I just said the curse word too loud. I, um, I, might, get, I might get censored when I upload the video, so anyways. Uh, anyways, so 
I think instead of using a class, I think a hash table. So first of all, well, you know what? We don't even need a hash set because the hash hash map has a function called hash contains. Contains key, right? So we can just use the hash map. So hash map, we have the values as key and the corresponding position, right? Okay. So if we remove something, we're gonna get its key, which is the value, and I get the corresponding position. And then we're going to remove the corresponding node off of that random list. Okay, I think, yep, I think this is what we want. Yep. Okay, we can start. So we need a hash map. Integer. And we need all right this okay So when we uh, <coughs> initialize this class, it's going to be this table. Well, you don't need to because, well, array list all right <clears throat> so now we want to insert it first we want to see if this value is contained in so if table if it doesn't contain this key then we would have false and do nothing. Well same thing to here. If it doesn't contain this key, then we turn false, right? But if it's not, we're going to insert this, we're going to add this value. First of first thing first, we're going to put this value into the hash map with its corresponding position in the array list.
<coughs> and for remove, we are going to get the position of that value. What's the element? How do I remove an uh, element at position this? How do I remove an element at a specific position? Index. Okay, good. Perfect. Interesting. Anyway, so we're gonna remove the element at this position. And then return true. Yeah. But first of all, don't forget to remove the corresponding value and key and value from the hash map. So let me check hash map. Remove. Remove this key, okay. Okay, so for get random, so how to get the random element? So first of all, we'll generate from a, how to get the random element from a range? I, I, Oh, this one has higher book. <coughs> I think I like this solution better because there's no truncation. Um, Okay, so we're gonna have a new random class. But we have to import a random. I hope they have the embedded random class.
Oh, the maximum is <coughs> between one to fifty. Oh, okay, okay. Fifty is the minimum, maximum, and one is down. Okay, so 50 is inclusive, okay, so <clears throat> random let's get size and plus one well, It won't zero it. Eh? So This is exactly one one so zero to random list size. Oh, yeah, since size is since the the rightmost is exclusive so Let's see. We'll just return. Um, is it get? How do I get the specific specific um, array elements from array list? Get okay. Yep. Okay. Let me see. Wait, what the fuck? Bound must be positive. It is positive. What? Random Get ran now. Shit. Fuck. OK. 
can't help but swear. I feel like I'm gonna get censored by YouTube. Um, anyways, so what's wrong? Next int. Bound must be positive. Let's figure it out. Size is zero. Okay, so it can't be zero. All right. Okay, so so I'll just throw the exception. How do you throw exception? Fuck! I don't even know how to throw exception. I for I forget. I don't I don't So first of all, Java is not my work language. I don't do Java for my work. I feel like just throw something, right? Just throw new to conception. Okay, so how do I, if I, if I want to get a random number, but there's no element in the list, what do I do? I'll just return zero. What am I supposed to do? Fuck. No such element exception.
I feel I'm so close, but Can't figure out why. What the? I don't understand. Alright, you know what? I'll just use... You just, I'll just use this method. What the? Oh. Oh, my answer is this, but there's Okay, I got it the other way. Oh, I can't read. Okay, this is the expected answer, but this is my answer. My answer is no and zero. Okay. So I've been doing the right thing, but they're too stupid to figure that out. What? False.
insert one is false. Why? Wait, it's the other way now. If it contains this key, we want to return false. Ah, so stupid. Oh. Okay, <clears throat> so insert, we, we don't want this table. Oh, Jesus, so stupid. Okay, let's see. What the heck is that? Okay. Um, all right. <clears throat> I feel like I'm doing the right way, but just something is wrong. Remove is index out of bounds. So I think the one possibility is that after the removal, all the other positions of the elements, all the other positions of the other elements behind that element have changed. So all right, um, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna drag out this video. I'm gonna. End it, and uh, I'll figure out what's causing the problem and post it in the description. Um, thanks for watching, and as always, happy coding.